Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to discuss certain indexes for determination of sex. Like for example, Washburn index, Kyetic Notch index, Turnal index, etc. So what we do here is we are going to measure certain bones of the body and then we are going to divide it. Like there's a formula for every index and then we are going to uh, multiply it by 100. So there are different indexes. First, let's talk about Washburn index or ischiopubic index. In this index, we are going to measure pubis and ischium. As the name is suggesting ischiopubic, hence we are going to involve two bones that is pubis and ischium. The length is to be measured and then the length of pubis is to be divided by the length of ischium and then that has to be multiplied by 100. Then we are going to get a number right for that. Then we have a range like for example if the number is between 73 to 94 then that is the bone of a male that means the person is a male. But if it is between 91 to 115, then the bone is belonging to a female, that is, the body is that of a female. Then next, we have sciatic notch index, in which the width of sciatic notch is measured, and then the depth of sciatic notch is measured. It is divided and then multiplied by 100. If it is between 4 to 5, then the body is male. And if it is between 5 to 6, then that is the body of a female. Then there is sternal index in which length of manubrium and the length of body is divided. Then it is multiplied by 100. If the body is of a female, then we get to see a number 46.2. If it is of a female, then we have 54.3. Then coprobasal index in which breadth of body of first sacral vertebra is divided with breadth of base of sacrum then it is multiplied by 100 if it is more than 42 then it is the body of a male and if it is less than 42 then it is body of a female then we have sacral index in which transverse diameter of base of sacrum is divided by the anterior length of the sacrum. If it is less than 114, then that is the body of a male. And if it is more than 114, then that is the body of a female. So you guys can learn all these indexes. Any type of question can be asked. Like for example, it can be asked in match the following questions. Like what is the formula for external index so you should know this that okay in to calculate external index we have the length of the manubrium by length of the body then by 100 or question can also be formed in form of like um, what is the value of external index in males or in females right so you need to remember all these indexes all these formulas and all these values values are the most important because obviously with the help of these values only we can determine whether the body is that of a male or a female right so just remember all this this was all about this video thank you for watching